Hello, 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 hello. Good morning. We are back in the farm today. We are back trying to do a bit more weeding. I'm just a bit far away from where the people are working because I just wanted to do this video today. Not so much to talk about the plants. But just to reflect, just to reflect on taking action. Um, I used to listen to so many videos, speeches. I used to read books on motivation on taking action, on ideas of what to do. You see, I've always wanted to be a farmer. I have always wanted to be a farmer. But I didn't know what I was going to end up doing. So as soon as I established that I wanted to become a farmer. I had to think about what to do. So I've, uh, I like YouTube. I like YouTube a lot. So I started watching a few ideas. Well, not a few, many ideas on farming. On YouTube. Chicken farming, piggery, maggot farming. And I started building up ideas in my head. I think the things that I considered seriously was chicken farming and maggot farming. Um, then it came to how do we actualize those ideas? How do we actualize it? How do we put it into action? How do we do it? And I faced a few challenges. You see, when you are the person who is pregnant with these ideas, but you have to work with partners. In my case, I had to work with my husband. We would go out, we would buy land, We would talk to people. We would go to see projects of other people. But it was taking so long talking about it, just going around, seeing what other people are doing. No action. This is when I realized that I am the one who has the vision. Whereas my partner was just doing it or was just whiling up this time with me without quite understanding what the vision is. Without really understanding what the vision is. So, unfortunately for me, he comes from a different country, which means he speaks a different language. And the country we were going to do the projects in was his country, which means that I needed him more in order to get these projects running because he has the language, he had the command he had the ability to command the people that we were going to work with. But the task was too big for him. So he tried to discourage me. But an idea whose time has come cannot be stopped. 
I had to rethink. As soon as I realized that I was not going to be able to do the projects with him in his country without his cooperation, without his help, um, I decided actually I can go and do these projects in my own country. So I came to Zimbabwe. And I had to rethink again about maggot farming. I had to rethink about uh, chicken farming. Because those things are animals. They get attacked by diseases. They die. The loss rate is higher. Especially because I live outside of the country. I live in the diaspora. You need to be on the ground when things are happening and you need to see things for yourself. So I decided, why don't I go into crops? So I started castor bean farming. So here we are. Here is my farm, my castor beans farm. This is the second farm. The first one, we started on a one hectare plot of land. You know, there's a lot of things to learn. There's a lot of mistakes that we made and we are still making mistakes. But in making those mistakes, we are also writing our own story. We are also finding out a lot about the plant itself. So, had I not decided to change and to replan and to rethink, this would not have been possible. This would not have been possible. So until you put your ideas into motion, you will not be able to see uh, your goals come to life. So I put my ideas into motion and here I am. Here I am. It was just a reflection. You know, it's not easy. It's, it's hard work. It's not easy at all. But then again, is it easier to just sit down and do nothing? And not realize anything at the end of it? Or is it better to just face this challenge head on? Do something. Start something. And see it grow. Now, I don't know whether, the, how long this I'm going to be able to continue sustaining this farm. Hopefully for a long time. Hopefully for a long time. But I was just thinking, seeing all the people, you may not be able to see them in the video. There's a lot of people working in the farm. For now, while I've got the farm, I'm able to help other people put food on their table. You know, just for the one day that they come in my farm, in their numbers, they get the little money that we give them for the day. And for that day, they get to put food on their table. To me, that gives me joy. To me, that tells me I can be an employer. I can contribute to other people's lives as, as they contribute to mine as well. So yeah, that's, that's just what I wanted to talk about. It's just me reflecting on what 
I have done so far as far as following my own dream and doing my own projects. Hopefully it motivates somebody. I know I've just been rumbling on, but thank you so much. If you like this, do not forget to press that like button. Um, and if you are not subscribed to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. And see you in the next video. Bye for now.